We've got to free our people up. And the only way we can do that is the unity of us in the street putting pressure on our preachers, putting pressure on our business people, putting pressure on our politicians. Either you work for us or we have to sit you down. You can't put your hand in our hand and then other hand and feet in the pocket of your enemy. So this is our job now. Don't tell me we don't have money. That's crap. Excuse my expression. Crap. <laughs> now look at this. Bull crap at that. What? Thank you, sir. $1.1 trillion comes through black hands That's right. this year. So don't say we don't have money. We don't have unity. Right. And if we had unity and pooled our money, then we could begin to take control of where we live. If we don't have money, why are the Arabs here? If we don't have money, why are the Koreans here? Right. If we don't have money, why is every immigrant that comes to America find their way into the black community to build their empire, their American dream on the black nightmare. So we have got to change that reality. Now, we had a black bank here, um, Seaway. That's old. Seaway gone. Yep. Independence Bank gone. Gone. Now, Ask the Koreans. Now, I know we like hair and we like nails and we... Okay, wait a minute now. Now, wait a minute. Let's don't talk about hair. No. no I got to talk <laughs> Let's about Let's don't get hair. rid of the hair. Because I know you love your hair. <laughs> and the Koreans know it too. Yeah, they do. So you go and spend four and five hundred dollars for a weave. Mm -hmm. And the Korean brother will not put any of that money... In a Seaway Bank. Nope. In a black bank. The Arab stores all over the black community. And they're doing everything. Selling uh, drug paraphernalia. And I hear some of them have guns that they give to our young people. And they take advantage of our women. Now, don't tell me you my Muslim brother and say, As-salamu alaykum to me. You making my job harder than hell by the way you are treating my people. So in the disruption of colonization, our unity, we got to look at these stores. What are you doing in our community? And if your business <laughs> is not serving the people properly, we need to unite, put that business out of our community, but be ready to take it over. Mm. <clears throat> Korean is the only one that can do hair and nails, but they've cornered the market. Even if you have the store, you got to go to them to buy the hair. But ain't nothing wrong with your hair. It's real beautiful. And if we work with it, take that money that we given to them that they will not give back to us, you still pretty. Um, ain't none of you. I mean, you just the most beautiful woman in the world. And you, and you see that today. So, and, and you see that today, yeah. Minister. You we see, gotta bring. We yeah. got to bring it home. You see a lot of sisters today going natural more. You know, going with their own natural hair, and and they're not supporting putting their money into that. So um, you do see that it is. I, I know a lot of sisters going natural, now, except well, to Mary Fair right here. It's good, but what I'm <laughs> suggesting on the economic side. It's kind of foolish to put so much money on your head and don't have too much in your head. Come on now. Come on now. Preach, preach I'm now. I'm not talking down to you my beautiful sisters. 
but God will be more pleased with you. Look at your nails. I mean, they're already pretty. I got pretty nails. I mean, <laughs> yes, you do. Because they're natural. Right. Now, I, I could let the, the manicurist fix them. I could let the, what do you call the woman that fix your feet? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And I don't mind giving it to my black sister who's going to spend that money, hopefully, in our community. So, I mean, it's really, um, my dear sister Tamara, see, it's a problem of ignorance. You're a colony because you're ignorant to what it takes to be free. Exactly. Or you're cowards and you're too weak to stand up to become free. No yes. doubt. And that's why you need not preaching more, but teaching. Yes. Because it's teaching that lifts the veil of ignorance from our minds. Mm -hmm. And then we can take this colony and make it ours. Absolutely. Own our community and make our own community a decent and safe place to live. That's our job. And these colonies are systemic. They are. Tra traditionally, people think of colonies as something that the British did. But America is setting up colonies right now in the systems that we have, and we don't even know it because we don't, like you said, we're not gaining the knowledge, we're not getting taught. But there are political systems that are set to cut us out, and if we don't wake up, and start really researching what's going on in these systems, child care, health care. Um, Education. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. All of that. We don't see that they're controlling these dollars that are earmarked for at-risk neighborhoods with not one black opinion. Now, you can't tell me that they're not several black experts in every one of those fields that I just said that could get on the, at that table of decision-making and make a decision that benefits our community. We have to control the table. Right. It has to be our table, not their table, where they invite us to sit at their table. Yes. So they have some crumbs mm -hmm. that they can throw to us like a little bird, mm -hmm. and it might be a good enough to feed you, but it's nothing to feed our people. We have to take control. And look, it's not hard. Our unity will give us the power to do whatever we want to do in our community. Mm 